eBay is the world's largest continuously running online flea market. And if you're a model railroader looking for good deals, used items, or hard to find goodies, eBay is a place you need to check out. If you're new to eBay, in this video we'll teach you the insights you need to be an internet savvy eBay user. So let's get started. I go to ebay.com and click the Categories button at the top. Then scroll down and select Toys and Hobbies and then click on Model Railroad Trains. I'm interested in HO items so I click HO and get a whopping 116,000 items or 2300 pages. To deal with this many items I need to do a search and narrow down the list to something manageable. I model the Southern Pacific prototype, so I type Southern Pacific into the search box and click the green search button. This returns a list of 750 items. Ah, much more manageable. However, the SP also includes the cotton belt, so I add the word cotton to the end of my search string, but it gives me zero results. That's because I've just told eBay to return items that say both Southern Pacific and Cotton Belt in them. And there are no items that are both. If I just try a cotton by itself, I get 133 Cotton Belt items. Southern Pacific is also known by its reporting marks of SP. So if I do a search for the letters SP, I get 1,038 items. The Cotton Belt, a.k.a. the St. Louis Southwestern, has the reporting marks of SSW. So if I do a search for SSW, I get 103 items. So, how do I combine these four different searches into one? I put the four search terms inside parentheses, separated by commas. Southern Pacific is two separate words, so I enclose it in double quotes. Now, when I do this search, I get 1,821 items, a combination of Southern Pacific, Cotton Belt, SP, and SSW all in one list. But, notice, there's a problem. I'm getting an SP and S car in the list, and I really don't want that. To exclude an item from the list, I can remove it by using that phrase with a minus sign in front. I type minus SP and S in this case and press search again. The bogus item disappears and in fact the list drops from 1821 to 1771 which means my original search included 50 SP and S items that I would not be interested in. I'm actually most interested in cabooses and if I get an SP and S caboose or two on the list I don't mind. So I delete the minus SP and S phrase and type caboose to get a list of SP and cotton belt cabooses. I get 92 items returned. I browse the list and find an Atlas cotton belt caboose that's of interest. So I click on it to view the item's details. It's a buy it now auction with a flat price of $18.95 and the seller has two available. I notice the shipping is $7.15 expedited making the total price $26.10. Is this a reasonable price? And is this an accurate model? I check my prototype information sources and I find the window arrangements on this model are not quite right, but it's a reasonable facsimile. I check the Atlas HO website and I find a much better image of this model, a photo rather than a simple side drawing, which helps. While on the Atlas site, I also checked the price, $19.95, which is quite a bit lower than the eBay item price with shipping of $26.10. I'll go back to the eBay listing and sort it by lowest total price, including shipping. And in looking through the list, I find another Atlas cotton belt caboose, number 45, painted in the maroon cotton belt scheme instead of the Tuscan and orange of number 40 in the other listing. Actually, I like the variety of the maroon scheme better, and this caboose is only 
or with the 560 expedited shipping, a total of 1959. Much better. I'd like to think about this purchase a bit, so I click watch this item and add it to my personal watch list. eBay asked me to log in and then I check my watch list and sure enough there it is. The next day I decided to go ahead and buy the caboose. So I log into eBay, go to my watch list and I click on the item and then I click on buy it now. eBay asked me to confirm the purchase so I click the commit to buy button eBay congratulates me and offers me the option to pay for the item now, so I click on the Pay Now button. I reviewed the purchase summary with the total price plus shipping, and I opt to pay for the item with PayPal. I find PayPal to be very convenient and secure. I've used it for over 10 years for hundreds of online purchases, and I've never had a problem. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for online credit card purchases. In the same period, I've had my credit card number stolen three different times. I've encountered some who are leery of PayPal, but I love PayPal, and I find it's far more secure than using credit or debit cards online. So that completes my transaction. I get a confirmation email, and in a few days, my caboose shows up at my door.